Honestly, the downfall of Twitter is so, so very sad. Um, I was never like a prolific Twitter user. In fact, I never really liked using Twitter all that much. But as I've said before, I, you know, I, I work in marketing. I've had to advise people multiple times about you know, how to use Twitter correctly, about you know, strategies to use Twitter to help promote them, themselves or a service or their business on Twitter. How to use its advertising functions to you know to advertise you know so so much of my you know professional career has been spent you know talking about Twitter As, you know and it's not the main thing you know I've talked about but I've put so many hours into talking and teaching people about Twitter over the years it's unbelievable so the very fact that in what less than a week. We have seen Twitter just absolutely dive bomb. And I've had conversations all this week with people, you know, asking me, what what do I do? <laughs> you know, what do I do with Twitter? Do do I keep it? Do I chuck it? Do I move to Mastodon? Um, you know, and from a from a sort of a professional opinion, wait and see, because something else could come along and sort of replace Twitter and be that sort of mass that it moves to it might very well be masked on but remember back in the day of the great sort of shift from you know myspace to facebook facebook wasn't the place that was being touted as the replacement for myspace at the time it, it was um i think it was bebo i think it was at the time that was the big sort of MySpace replacement everyone was talking about and that's probably taken a couple of people really back going oh yeah i remember that <laughs> so yeah, this is really sad. Uh, really sad that is is causing this. And apparently, from now what we're hearing, Twitter or, or Musk or might have even bankrupted Twitter completely. So yeah, um, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who knew it would go downhill this fast? But yeah, uh, like I say, uh, guys, uh, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below you, you know. You can uh, you, down below. There's the Patreon page, the one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee. We can buy me coffee, and of course, there's a YouTube thank you button uh, and the uh, subscription for the Pony Club down below. You can join in the doobly doos, and we well, can still share it on Twitter at the moment because I'm still keeping my Twitter account at least for the time being. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Um, but yeah, let's let's dive into this because well, this is just such a sad story. Um, really is. So this comes from the Guardian. Title of Exodus continues at Twitter as Elon Musk hints at possible bankruptcy. As Elon Musk's ownership of Twitter has entered its third week, the following the mass layoffs, the billionaire laid bare the delicate financial future of the social media platform amid an excess of top privacy and security executives. Joel Roth, the head of safety and integrity, who had been deputized to publicly address the concerns to advertisers and users uh, uh, had about the platform, is repeatedly latest to leave the company. The departures begin on the same day that Elon Musk addressed employees for the first time, saying that bankruptcy isn't out of the question, according to multiple reports. The day began with the resignation of at least three top security officials, Chief Information Officer Leah Kainzer, Chief Privacy Officer Damien Kerrin, and Chief Compliance Officer Marion Fogarty prompting warnings from other Federal Trade Commission that Twitter had reached a statement over privacy issues with the FTC in May. Following these departures, Roth and Twitter's head of financial solutions, Robin Willier, also left the company. And like I say, these are the... Um, they're, they're leaving tweets. So yeah, it's unbelievable to see these, these high-level people leave the company, especially after... This is insane to see. It really is. In an email to employees and even the subsequent staff meeting, Musk did little to actually inspire confidence about the company's future. In one email, Musk has described the dire economic circumstances the company was in and how important he believed its subscription service was, or the blue Twitter was to its future, saying that without significant subscription revenue, there is a good chance that Twitter will not survive the upcoming economic downturn, Musk said in an email. We need roughly half of our revenue to be subscriptions. 
One employer who said that the staff meeting that Musk appeared to downplay the employee concerns about how prepared back Twitter workforce was about handling its obligations to maintain privacy and data standards. Musk's memo to the staff meeting echoed a live stream conversation on Wednesday in which he tried to assuage the concerns of major advertisers and made his most expansive public comments about Twitter in the direction since he closed the £44 billion deal on, first, uh, on deal to actually buy the platform late last month and dismissed its top executives. The department's departures compound the issues playing in the social media platform since Musk has bought it. Musk takes over and the reliant confusing back and forth on the pro on the product launches counter to the moderation policies have led many bands including general mills to pause all its ad buys on twitter a development the billionaire attempted to try and rectify in a live stream for advertisers the duo leaving leading the live stream roth and wheeler have now both left the company saying so the two people Elon brought forward to talk with advertisers in an attempt to try and convince them to keep partnering with the company just quit tweeted uh, uh, Radash Robertson, the president of Color of Change, saying that companies that stay with Twitter at this point will be, tried, will be tied to these dangerous and unhinged policy changes. The company's subscription product, Twitter Blue, which was launched on Wednesday, allows users to buy a ver verification blue checkmark for $8. and has already resulted in various accounts being verified uh, despite impersonating brands or even notable figures. Some civil rights groups warn about the lack of clarity on the content moderation policies and the unrestrained ability to actually buy a blue check mark could lead to, if they haven't already, a scourge of hate speech and spreading of misinformation. They've called on more brands to actually pause their advertisements on the platform, saying, I have never seen a billionaire begging for your $8 a month this much, said Derek Johnson, the president of them. Um, of Nancap saying clearly our efforts on calling on companies to pause or advertising on Twitter are working. Corporations need to be held accountable and Twitter is no exception. Hate speech and disinformation have no place anywhere. Under the company's settlement with the FTC, Twitter is required to perform privacy reviews before it makes any changes to its products. But in a letter posted by, uh, to Slack by an attorney on the company's privacy, privacy team reported by The Verge, the author says that they heard the company's head of legal, Alex Sapiro, say that Elon is waiting to take on a huge amount of risk in reputation to this company and its users because Elon puts rockets into space. He's not afraid of the FTC. The company's legal team is now asking engineers to, quote, self-clarify for their features to comply with the FTC rules and privacy standards, according to The Verge. In the letter, the lawyer said that people should make use of the available public whistleblowing protections if you do feel uncomfortable about anything you're being asked to do. Messages seeking, uh, seeking comment were left with Twitter, but are unlikely that someone will actually respond as the communication department has been laid off. <laughs> oh, my. Oh my word. Um You know, Twitter's just become an absolute dumpster fire at this point and I just can't believe it. In 3 weeks Elon Musk has managed to take down one of the most popular forms of social media. It is generally unbelievable and I for one cannot wait for either the documentaries or the books that come out about this because oh my word we're hearing stuff now already but wait until like a couple of months have passed or wait until people are free from like their ndas after like their six months after leaving we are gonna hear so much stuff so many stories about this time i mean the fact that you've had those two people who were like you know you know, pushed out to try and, you know, assure the advertisers playing, say, please, please do not, you know, please, please keep on buying ad space for us, please. They've now left. What was their reason for leaving? Because I guarantee you in a couple of months time, once their NDAs are done, whoo, boy, oh boy, are they going to have some stories to tell about this? Oh, wow. Um, Yeah. All I can say is I'm looking for what what's this documentary what what are the bets we're putting on this documentary being called uh twitter storm um bird poop the downfall of twitter <laughs> or just the downfall of twitter <laughs> you know or elon elon the elon the twitter king <laughs> just oh
um yeah it's gonna be fascinating to watch um well and truly but as always guys let me know what you think down below because i guarantee a lot of you probably got quite a big thoughts about this but yeah like i say let me know down in the comments below but like i say please do remember to hit that like and share button uh, on your way out and of course as always we'll see you all next time